Hi, I'm Mike Swanbaum, and what I'd like to do is solve a problem today that involves a chlorine generator that is used in a pool application. So here it is. The picture to the right shows a chlorine generator for use with saltwater pools. Its job is to electrolyze the salty water to produce chlorine gas, which it stays in the solution in the water. The model shown here produces 1.4 pounds of chlorine per day. If the chlorine generator runs all the time and produces 1.4 pounds of chlorine per day, the electrical current required between the electrodes is closest to, and we have to pick one of these choices. So what we're going to do first is identify some reference information here that would be available if you were taking this, for instance, on an exam. This is some reference information that would be, be available in that case. One of the things is what is that chemical reaction? Uh, the other thing you see here is the uh, uh, weight per mole for chlorine. We also have a conversion for pounds, Avogadro's number, and of course what a coulomb is in terms of number of electrons. And so here's what we do. We just uh, see here that we're trying to produce 1.4 pounds of chlorine per day. All right, and honestly this most of this problem kind of comes down to just doing a bunch of conversions. First thing we want to do is turn the pounds into grams. And the way we do that is with this uh, 453.592 grams. Per uh, pound. Okay. The next thing we want to do with this is look at these units of time. So we have day down here and of course, there's 24 hours in a day. And there are 60 minutes in an hour. And then there are 60 seconds in a minute. Okay, so that takes care of a bunch of our time units. The next thing we want to do is look at our chlorine itself. And we know here that we have 35.5 grams per mole of chlorine. So what we can do is figure out how many moles of chlorine per unit of time we're producing here by multiplying. Uh, we want to actually get rid of the grams. So we're going to put 35.5 grams in the denominator and we'll put moles in the numerator. But what is a mole in terms of a number? Well, that's your Avogadro's number, right? So there are 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd in a mole. All right. So now what we're really talking about is a number of, of uh, chlorine ions that are in this solution. Um, and so the next thing we need to do is determine how does that relate to our number of coulombs. And so we need to look at this uh, chemical reaction that goes on right here and understand that for every electron, there is just one chlorine ion that is produced here. And that's what this 35.5 grams per mole is based on. And so what we can do then is multiply this by the number of electrons that you have in a coulomb of charge. So that would be 6.24 times 10 to the 18th. And that would be electrons per coulomb. All right. And then the last thing that we lack here, we only have one other little thing that we need to do and it's to understand what exactly an amp is. An amp here is a coulomb per second. So now what we do is we actually go through and show how all of these units will cancel each other out. Okay, hours cancels hours, minutes cancels minutes. This seconds here cancels this seconds way over here. Uh, this coulomb here cancels this coulomb. Uh, we have this mole canceling this mole, and you see here that what we end up with is just an answer that is going to be in amperes. So, pulling up our calculator, 
what we will do is punch in 1.4 times uh, 453 0.592 I'm going to deal with all of the terms in the numerator first times 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd okay all of this stuff divided by and I'll put all the rest of this in parentheses we would have 24 times 60 times 60 times 35.5 uh, times 6.24 times 10 to the 18th and when we put all this in here we should end up with an answer that's in amperes and we see here we have 19.98 amperes. Okay, and that means that we would choose F. I hope this has been useful, and if it has, please give me a like, uh, give me a, a comment, uh, and continue watching my channel. I sure appreciate it.